what's going on guys it's been a while lots gotten done but not any closer than i really was but yeah, I mean, i'm closer it's just a lot left to do um, most of my fuel line is all done you know a lot of the boring stuff of wiring you know i'm running the battery to the back which i'll show pictures of that i'm trying to set my coils up um got the other coil up there on the um fender not not ready to go i did get finally get my throttle body and elbow i uh, got to get a spacer because it's hitting on the rails i didn't realize i needed to move that over there so we kind of moved some stuff around got some um sensors from low dollar i haven't mounted this yet it's just sitting here uh but i think it's where i want all my lines to run right now so all my lines run in and out turn i got a map sensor brand new from low dollar i just haven't hooked it up yet um like i said been doing a lot of wiring uh kind of gutted the car uh pulled the pulled the uh, dash back went and pulled the heater box out you know it's a turn into a race car now and i wanted to be more of a street i wanted ac and that kind of played an effect of uh that I didn't want it to go that way. Uh, so I don't know about power steering yet. I'm still debating on power steering and power brakes. Uh, I have a uh, manual brake set up for it. I just haven't decided if that's the route I want to go yet. Still need a water pump that all my lines are ran for the oil. I just need to finish bolting this up. I wanted to get the radiator in. I got it in there. I had to slot the bottom uh, radiator support. And I think if I ever redo the front half, I'm going to tubular like I did the last one. I did get a um, transmission cooler mounted. I used the stock mounting location for uh, uh, um, uh, uh, airbags. So kind of use that and the brackets that they send the bolts for the airbags and it kind of went in there really nicely tucks in right behind the radiator or right in front of the radiator behind the intercooler intercooler sitting there it's all it's all plumbed uh, everything's just kind of snug you know on these I heard a lot of people have leaking problems I don't know if I've said this in my previous videos but I'm going to do heat cycles. So I'm going to start it up, let it warm up, let it cool off, tighten the bands. Start it up, let it cool off, tighten the bands. So I think a couple heat cycles and we should be getting it going and should not have a problem. Uh, but everything else, uh, all the wirings ran under here. I still need to finish up bolting this up, getting my last line on here. Uh, my sensor is running around here. I did mount my oil relocation fill oil filter relocation right here uh, run the lines around here try to make the lines as short as I could and as big as I could and uh, it, I, I hopefully it worked pretty good hopefully you don't interfere with anything I am gonna I am gonna clamp these up and kind of push them up towards the the frame here and just get them out of the way but that's all done. Uh, I do have a low dollar oil pressure sensor uh, tied into that brass fitting back here. I don't know if you can see. Uh, but anyways, I'm running that. Like I said, I started running my battery lines to the back. The battery's mounted back here. Start running my lines, my holly stuff, uh, the relay for the fuel pump. I think that was on here last time, but just trying to knock some of that out. Uh, waiting on some crimpers. They finally came. I got the wrong kind of crimper. So I, uh, Amazon actually sent me the a book instead of uh, the crimpers. Uh, so that was an interesting find one day on my doorstep. But that one's going to run over the fuse box. I'm going to put a breaker in here. And then tie it to the uh, on and off switch. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet. Still, uh, 
that's still on my list to figure out but all in all it's coming together if i just have some more time to work on it we'd get a whole lot farther um chips are still laying there a bunch of wiring stuff i did take the airbag out the holly's mounted up there like i said a bunch of wiring needs to be done i'm gonna tuck all the wires uh wrapping it putting all this real nice shielding on to to uh, make it all look the same Yeah, besides that, that's kind of all that's going on with this car. Um, need to mount my coils, get the fan plugged in, finish the wiring. Did drop some oil in it today. Get the spacer, get a water pump. And hopefully, and I got to run some vacuum line. I did get a bunch of vacuum line. Finish up running the rest of the blow off valve and the rest of the turbo you know it's slowly it's just having the time I was out of town this weekend just came back for the uh, coil system gotta wire it and run it all back i think i'm gonna make a plate that covers this up this hole here a little bit lets the wire run through it real nice got this funnel because that old transmission dipstick's way down there um it's kind of looking at some aftermarket transmission dipsticks and they all kind of look the same uh, if you guys have any experience with the aftermarket dipstick i may put a factory one back in it just to bring it back up bought this funnel yeah this funnel but i don't want to go fighting to check transmission fluid or if i'm at the track you know it's hot trying to reach down there and i don't know i want as simple as possible when it rolls out of this garage but and it's a, it's a mess what's got going on i got going on here i'm trying to clean up parts trying to throw parts on left and right and i still got put my a arms on my coilover system um, so i haven't mounted the holly yet it's just sitting in here i'll probably make some kind of bracket to sit up here um, I'm going to run a glove box, but no, no, uh, airbags or anything in this car. I'm going to build a cover to go over this transmission hole. And then when I put the stock shifter bezel on there, I'm going to run a transmission, um, gauge. A temperature gauge. I bought this glow shift. I thought it would look decent in there. Had some of those in a power stroke, and they looked pretty nice when the truck was off. You know, it was blacked out. You don't have to worry about seeing it. It kind of a sleeker look that I I like about it. It may not be the best gauge, but the Holly should be telling me mostly what's going on. I just want to be able to look down quick at it. You know, kind of have something in the center console. And not much more has been going on here. I've been busy. Uh, got another car. Looks like I got my son's car. I put my other motor into. We got it set in, transmission bolted up. We'll get some videos of it running before too long, and maybe some track time. It's just going to be an all motor car, and so that will be that will be on here soon too, as soon as we get it going. Then I'm building another '98 Mustang. Uh, going with uh, a higher compression iron block build on it, PI heads, custom cams. Uh, it's going to be for sale though. I'm just I'm just building it to sell. Play with it on the street for a little bit and sell it. So that will be listed, and I'll uh, if anybody's interested in that, I'll uh, I'll post the information up whenever I get it going. When I start the engine build on it, I'll do some some uh, videos of the, the engine build on it. But besides that, that's my uh, map sensor. A lot of wiring. I got to get my trans brake wired up. Uh, get all the transmission wired up. 
it's just a couple hours of sitting here wiring i'm not looking forward to but it is what it is um still looking for this uh may may just buy a couple and see what i turn out up uh see if i can get it to run i got do got a coolant sensor from low dollar it's um it's actually down here in the intake i just got to get the adapter to thread that on there so i'm not going to cut up my other console but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the shifter right here in the middle on this one this one always already had some switches i think i'm going to use them for the transmission to um, control the uh, converter and the overdrive so anyways that's my weekend update on the white car here um, sorry i'm just kind of rambling on here it's been a couple weeks that i've done one done a video figured i'd update before i moved off and uh relaxed for the evening hopefully uh next weekend i can uh, give it some cranking power like i said get the throttle body bolted on here uh finish up the wiring and this thing should be really close to starting so i'm gonna spend a lot of time on it next week and next saturday morning i'm gonna hit it hard get up early in the morning hit it hard and get it get the wiring done so i can get it fired up hopefully no problem starting it and holly works great and then I'm just tuning it never know this car may be for sale one day but anyways I, uh, thanks for watching and any questions or if you got any ideas on something i've done wrong uh, leave me a comment uh, i'll try to answer it and you know at least this year's at least this video's a couple of years old then it's car will probably be done and gone by then or it may be hiding in the back of the shop who knows but anyways you guys have a good day talk to you later